Hi, I'm Leo Leung, a Senior Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud. And today I'm going to talk about considerations in terms of how to pick a cloud when you're a startup or when you're, when you're building a new application. Uh, as a former head of product myself for a startup, I went through some of the same considerations that you're going through today. So four areas to think about are the kind of workload that you're going to be building in the cloud. Second is how much automation you require out of your cloud. Third is the price point that you're looking for. And fourth is the kind of market you're trying to uh, get into with your application or your startup. So when it comes to workloads, really important. Actually, clouds are pretty different in terms of what they're focused on. Most of the clouds that are out there are primarily for web sorts of applications, scale out types of applications. So these are applications where in order to uh, increase uh, the amount of performance or the the amount of load it can handle, you're just adding more and more instances, adding more and more software. Um, so that's sort of the generic profile of most clouds. Where Oracle Cloud is a little bit different is we focus very specifically on performance intensive workloads. So what do I mean by that? So any type of transactional workload, meaning you're going to have uh, lots of customers coming in and being able to buy things or be able, being able to manipulate data. Whether you're going to be building an application that's based on uh, a large database or if you're going to be building it using NoSQL uh, or scale out types of architectures, uh, Oracle Cloud actually has the right kind of infrastructure for that type of workload. Second, if you're thinking about, I'll call it HPC, so high performance computing workloads, whether you're thinking about large simulations, right? Lots of industries are transforming into completely simulation driven when it comes to product development, when it comes to, uh, for example, uh, testing wind resistance uh, or uh, doing energy analysis. All that stuff falls into this HPC camp and Oracle Cloud is very, very good at that. Finally, another class of application that's very, very compute intensive and in some cases very storage intensive, uh, is another area where, again, uh, Oracle Cloud has a ton of raw horsepower when it comes to compute or storage. Take things like machine learning that just require tons and tons of GPUs in order to train your, train your models. So that's workload. Automation. There's definitely certain clouds that focus uh, a lot on automation, where you're uh, basically just handing over your code and you're letting the provider do everything else. And they may even be down to the point where it's language specific. Certain clouds are very, very good at that. Where Oracle Cloud is focused is there is some degree of automation that's possible. Uh, we have something we call the autonomous database and now something we call autonomous Linux, where these are totally hands-off types of services where uh, you're literally creating a database. Uh, it's self-tuning uh, and patching and performance tuning. Um, same thing goes with the operating system where you don't have to think about any of those things. So there's that level. The uh, Oracle Cloud has a lot of managed services that, uh, again, abstract away the infrastructure but it does give a unique degree of control for those that are building new applications or want lots of visibility into the stack all the way down. Uh, Oracle provides a high degree of control over that infrastructure and those services. Price point, uh, certainly is something to think every customer thinks about, but particularly for startups, uh, when you're testing lots of ideas, when you're testing uh, new types of applications or new interactions, you want access to always free services and Oracle Cloud provides that. Uh, in addition, when you start to scale that application and you're starting to move into uh, uh, your production types of workloads, there's a number of factors to consider. Where a lot of cloud providers tend to get you is on the storage end uh, and on the networking side. So these are sort of uh, maybe older paradigms when it comes to price points where if you actually want performance out of your storage, typically providers will charge you more. 
uh, just for the performance. Um, Oracle does not. Um, no provider charges for uh, data moving into the cloud, but every provider charges uh, for moving data out of the cloud. So for example, if you're trying to serve a lot of users and you're pushing data out, like a uh, classic application is video streaming or gaming, uh, if you're uh, going to be pushing data to other companies for analytics purposes, uh, this is where you can uh, really, really run up your bill. Uh, some providers even charge when you're trying to build resilient architectures uh, in terms of even moving data from uh, one logical part of the, the uh, cloud region to another. Uh, Oracle doesn't charge for that, uh, and we provide uh, 10 terabytes for free every month. In addition, as a startup, uh, the Oracle Startup Program offers a 70% discount on top of that uh, list already low list price, so very competitive there. And finally, when you think about markets, uh, certainly there's the pure consumer uh, focused uh, types of markets. Uh, some clouds essentially are really, really geared towards that, um, where uh, if you look at their customer base, a lot of them are focused on direct to consumer. Uh, where Oracle specializes in is we certainly have a large portfolio of uh, both customers that are enterprises as well as products that are geared towards enterprises, both applications, services, databases, etc. So if your company and your applications are targeted towards those types of customers or are complementary to the types of applications that Oracle already offers, there's a, uh, a really good chance of synergy uh, with those go-to-market opportunities and that customer base. On top of that, uh, Oracle for Startups uh, does actually have a specific program to help you reach customers uh, alongside of Oracle. So with that, thinking about, uh, when you're thinking about building an application in the cloud, think about the kind of workload you're bringing in, how much automation you require out of your cloud, what kind of price point you're looking for, and what kind of market you're trying to penetrate. Um, these are the areas where Oracle is very strong. And if you're interested in uh, talk, learning more about the startup program, just go to oracle.com startup. Thanks so much for your time.